Hello, aspiring people, and welcome back to another exciting and an adventurous vlog. Notice anything different about me? Well, yeah, uh, as you can see that I have had a shave. So yes, I am clean shaven. And I will tell you right now, I can't wait for it to grow back. In today's vlog, for this vlog's purposes, I decided to actually shave myself and you'll find out in just a moment why. All right, truth be told, I decided to go out and try something completely different. Yeah, well, I did exactly that. I think I did something that I would not normally ever do. In fact, I don't think many people or men themselves would probably ever go and even try. But at the time, I was more than happy to do it. And to be honest, yes, I would probably if I had the chance to do it all over again, I would do it again. Anyway, it's all about stepping outside of your comfort zone and trying something different in today's vlog. I certainly, definitely did exactly that. Here's how my day unfolded. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I know that I've got to do this. So I'm in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> Let's just do it. My hairs. Yeah. <laughs> I feel naked. <laughs> I literally feel naked. It feels weird. I've for, for a while now I've had I've had a beard and a mustache and now it just feels completely and utterly different. There is a reason for why I'm doing this and it's all to do with change. Change is really important in life if you want to grow. If you're not prepared to change, you're not going to evolve. You're not going to become a, a better version of who you already are. And that's what today's vlog is about. Speaking of change, I think I need to go freshen up and change my clothes. And we're all freshened up and we're ready to go and start the vlog. All right, all will be revealed shortly. I am starting to run a little bit late for my appointment. It's a two o'clock appointment. And anyway, let's hit the road. I am really not happy. I'm not happy with myself. I'm letting myself down here, people. I had an appointment, actually not had, I've got an appointment at two o'clock and I'm seriously, I'm running late. Hi, I'm good. I'm John, I've got an appointment at uh, two. Yeah, me too. Hopefully it's, I'm not too late. I was really nervous because I knew I was running late and I thought oh, I hope I could still get in. <laughs> No worries, thank you. How are you today? I'm well, and yourself? All right, guys, I was running late, but the ladies here at the beauty salon have allowed me to come in. Yes, I'm here at uh, Zabia. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'll have to ask them in a little while when she comes back. I've got to fill out this form, which is obviously for uh, policy and whatever purposes. And yeah. We will continue the process. Do you want me to explain the process as well, just to do it? Uh, yeah, if you can explain that, that'll be great. Because uh, number one, I've never had anything like this done before. So if mm -hmm. anyone who's watching is interested in wanting to mm -hmm. to try something different, then they know what it's all about. No worries. Today we are doing the party facial, which mm -hmm. is contains like three steps in your process. So step one will be the cleanser. So yep. we'll Cleanse your whole face first, and after that, I'll do your scrubbing with a steamer on Fantastic. some right. steam. Cool. Okay, and that, uh, after that, I will put a face mask, and I'm gonna leave that for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. okay. Once it dried up, I will just peel off the mask. 
Okay. Awesome. That will be the whole process. I mean, yep. I suppose, guys, now's a good time if you haven't already done so. Make sure to like and subscribe. So, what are the benefits of getting something like this done? First of all, you can relax more. Yeah. So we do massages with the facial. Like, if you have like choose one hour facials, more than one hour facials, mm -hmm. okay, you can get your massage like 15 minutes or 20 minutes massage. So you can relax more, and after that, it it will, yeah, it will give you the more glow and shine to your face. And one more thing, because of the muscles, it will increase the blood pressure in your face muscles. Mm -hmm. So it will be more like uh, reducing the aging, aging process. Oh. Yeah. So with regards to the reducing of the aging process, mm -hmm. how often would you recommend having something like this done? Every month, once in a month or every six weeks, four yeah. to six weeks. Yeah, average time will be the four to six weeks. Some people come in two months, but some people come every three, four weeks. Yeah, but average time time we would we would recommend like three to four, like four to six weeks. Yeah. So would it be better off getting the same treatment or doing different things? Same treatment would be better because it's already suit if you if it suits your skin, so it's better to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of changing each and every time, so you can do a, a same thing every time. Yeah. So I guess the million dollar question now is how many men come and have this done? Here, uh, it's been one year for me. I haven't done any male here before. Okay. Yeah. For waxing, we do some waxing here for the men as well. Mm -hmm. But facial, I think it's the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> for me, for me. Maybe my seniors or my manager, they have done before. Yeah. But for me, it's the first time. If you're, not, if you're feeling any, anything not good for you? No, it feels no nice so far. Like it feels different. Mm. So this is still all part of the first process. Yes. Alright, so step two is the steaming. Steaming with the scrubbing. Nice. Oh, yeah, I like steam. the smell of that. Oh, is this the peach? Yes. Ah, that's what I can smell. Well, you're right about one thing. This is quite therapeutic and pretty relaxing. Yeah. With the scrubbing, you can remove all the dead skin on your mm -hmm. face. And all the white hairs and black hairs, they can just came out with the steaming and scrubbing. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can see the real difference after the scrubbing. Mm. So it will remove all the dead skin, so you can see some difference. After the mask, you will see the whole difference. You know what, this might sound pretty crazy, but I think if any guys who haven't tried this, they need to come and try this. If they've ever had a massage, and they enjoy having a massage, this is exactly the same thing, except on your face. So this is a peach based mask as well, so you're gonna love the smell. Oh wow, I like the feel of it already. Oh yeah, now I can smell it. Wow, that is peachy. So this mask will take some time to dry off. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm gonna leave this one for 12 to 15 minutes. Mm. No After worries. that I will just peel this one off like the skin and it will just come off. Again guys, if you're ever thinking of doing this, do it. It's worth the experience, even if you just do it once. You don't know what you're missing until you try it. I'm gonna put eye packs now. Mm -hmm. Please close your eyes. So let's wait the, until the mask sets. Okay. Meanwhile, no your shoulder muscles and head muscles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's try feeling. Wow. Feels like your whole face is coming off. This is what it feels like for a snake. There you go. Nice. Did you see it? Dead skin. <laughs> Look at that. that is, oh, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not your skin, it's just the mask. 
guys, I urge you, if you're going to try anything in life, try something that um, you've perhaps never thought of ever trying. Come and try a facial, party facial, and have your uh, skin taken off. Dry skin. It's all safe. Although I think it's recommended like I had to. If you aren't clean shaven, if you've got facial hair, make sure to shave first. So we just remove any excess anywhere left doors. Mm-hmm. All done. All done, is it? Yes. Wow. 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 Guys, I'm serious. If you have never done anything like this, do not be afraid to try it. And I'm saying specifically, guys, because I know what we men can be like. When we see women doing something, or we see something that's being done, and we're just too afraid to try something. Don't be afraid to get out and step outside of your comfort zone. That's what it means to change. Zavius Beauty, thank you. All right, I think it's time to go home. So welcome back to the house, guys. Welcome back, guys. Uh, that was pretty much what happened in my day. As I said, it was something that I wanted to do. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to step outside of my comfort zone, and I was more than happy to oblige and do that. It's something that I urge you guys to do. Well, all right, maybe not the, the whole facial experience but if it's something that you're into then fine by all means go and do it and as i said earlier if i had the opportunity of doing all this again i would do it exactly the same this week i've had a pretty productive week i caught up with a good friend of mine who i haven't actually seen for probably a little over a year and he threw, he flew, he threw, he flew, he didn't threw, <laughs> he flew, he flew on an aeroplane. Meow. <laughs> he flew on an aeroplane all the way from Canberra with his girlfriend, Anthea. I'm talking about Greg. Greg's already subscribed to my channel and I was just thinking about this earlier as I was about to say this message. Anthea, you haven't even subscribed to my channel. So what are you waiting for? It's that little red button down below. Make sure you hit that button, hit the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comments section. I don't even know what I'm doing, people. I don't even know what I'm saying. But I wanna give a big shout out to Greg and Anthea because it was good catching up with them this week. And of course, Looking forward to seeing you guys again real soon, hopefully. The moral in today's vlog was for you guys to not allow your fears or insecurities get in the way and stop you from trying new things. I want you to believe in yourselves and of course, dare to be different. I dare you to challenge yourself. I dare you to go out and try something different. Try something you've never, ever done before. Pretty much like I did in this vlog. Trust me on this when I tell you that after you've gone out and you go and try something that you've never done before, afterwards you're going to feel a, a sense of accomplishment. You're going to feel like a, a sense of fulfillment. You're going to feel like you'll be able to pretty much take on the world. After today's vlog, that's pretty much exactly how I feel. I just want to say a huge Huge thank you to the ladies over at Zabias Burgoon Garden City. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Do you know what? I suck at pronouncing names, so I do apologize if I get the name wrong. But most importantly, I want to say a huge thank you to, I believe her name was Ravia. So hopefully I've said that right as well, because seriously, like I said, I am terrible at names. I learned a valuable lesson today, people. Number one lesson is do not be late. When you set yourself or you arrange a time to meet somebody, make sure you stick to that time. Now the other thing that I pretty much want to conclude the vlog with is that again, do not be afraid to be yourself. Do not be afraid to challenge yourself. Do not be afraid to challenge and do something outside of the norm, outside of what is your comfort zone, because only then will I guarantee that you are gonna be successful. 
Only then will you be able to thrive and be able to be comfortable knowing that no matter what you do in life, you've got this. And I know you got this. Just like you got that subscribe button down below. You're gonna hit that subscribe button if you're watching this and you haven't already subscribed. You're gonna like this button. <laughs> you're gonna like this button? <laughs> you're gonna like this vlog and I'm gonna see your all aspiring faces in the next aspiring vlog. What do you think about that, Kitty? Kitty! My question to you is, have you subscribed? Cat's looking at me like, who are you? What happened to your beard? What happened to your mustache? And what do you mean you had a facial? <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. That stays in this vlog and that was it. It's never gonna happen again. I tried it, I liked it, it was okay, but I'm not gonna do it again. But I'm glad I did. I don't need to keep justifying it. See you guys in my next aspiring vlog.